Okay, I've been playing around a little bit with the Arduino software that does the programming for the SDR1 receiver. Now it's made by Electronics is Fun and Henchman Labs. And so far in the programming, I've got it to actually come up and say what I want before I actually start the program. SDR1 program, that is. Go ahead and kick that out. Now, when I start up the program on the computer over here, it'll take it out of the standby that it's in. Basically, this is just saying it in standby, and it'll actually go to a receiving frequency. At this long, and it's not done yet, uh, there's some issues. You may not know what to do. There you go. Well, that, the 3500s aren't going to be type accepted. Come on over here. At least, uh, that was my understanding. Here's the SDR1 software. What I would really like to get is software um, with the SDR1 that can uh, work like... Go, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut that off for a moment. That would work like uh, HDSDR. I've been trying to get Carlos Santiago and uh, Dave perhaps to uh, implement, or even the creator of HDSDR. I wrote him, I wrote my uncle, I wrote, wrote a lot of people to see if they can't get S the SDR1 radio to uh, work with HDSDR. It's just a matter of doing a, a rig cat control or um, some type of external DLL file. Um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> anyway, right now I've got my soft rock implemented to work with this fellow. My soft rock's back there. That's it. It's the Ensemble RX2, but not the um, not this fellow yet. Go ahead and throw a little light on. Let's see what it looks like with the light on. There we go. Yep, that's it. So anyway, I'll go ahead and... Uh, the reason why is I like the... Uh, I just love the waterfall aspect. Know what I mean? Love that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go back to SDR1 here. I'll click on SDR1. It'll start bringing it up. There it is. It's still going to say this on the screen until I hit the standby key and make it active. And now it's going to let me know what it's receiving, what bank it's in, and whether the attenuator's on or not. And attenuator's on now, so now you got uh, minus 30 dB. What I would like to do, if I can, is take this minus 0 dB, or uh, plus 0 dB, basically take the attenuational function and not get rid of it, but put basically what mode you're in here. So have it say USB or LSB or um, CW, you know, it'd be nice to know what mode and have it correlate over here on the bands. You know, when you hit a different band, it would correlate with that and then it would change down here, maybe even say WWV, WWV, that would be sweet. So hopefully you guys can work on that and get it done. If not though, here's a brief look at at least what you can do with this fella with a little bit of getting into the Arduino software for it. Uh, should pop back to it now, there it is. I basically put all the files on the computer and the SDR1 and I get into Arduino and I opened up Arduino here and I looked for the file to let it to open. It's going to be this SDR file so I double click on it. I opened it up and made it a lot bigger and I scrolled down and got into Basically, I was looking to see what it would, what it was it saying here on the uh, res this receiver while it was in standby mode. That's what I wanted to find, and basically, I went ahead and I changed those, and I put in SDR1 receiver, and then my call W2JAW. Um, I'd really like to get into the code down in here because this is where I'm going to be able to program um, basically. Um, the attenuation not necessarily out but just off for now and get into the mode that's what i would like to do with this so if anyone knows how to do it uh hit me up uh you know on this video on youtube let me know if we can get hdsdr to work with this sdr1 receiver from electronics is fun and henchman labs that would be most awesome 73s everyone have a great day